All right, back here at Study Ball, part two of Jared Goff against the Packers. Last game of the year in Lambeau Field in the cold weather. We saw some ups and downs early in this game, but you know if you're going to beat Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers in Lambeau late in the season, especially when they're vying for a playoff spot, your quarterback is going to have to step up big in key moments down the stretch. So let's dive into the second part of Jared Goff. All right, this one are coming back almost with the same thing, but I want you to notice the route. Route, what happens on this route? Okay, first thing he does, he turns, he gets some width, then he pushes vertical. Okay, gets some width, pushes vertical. Now his guy's chasing him from the back, but you see it. As he turns and pushes vertical, this guy hesitates, right? He's, not, he's no longer running a 40-yard dash out to this side. He sees that vertical. Now he's got to hold his weight off to the inside. Now, boom, put my foot in the ground, break away. Now it's an easy completion. Nice job. More of a pure progression type thing for Jared Goff, but I like it. In rhythm, getting back, getting set, getting the ball out of your hands, getting a first down. Okay, here we go again. Now it's a little bit of that choice from a different alignment. Gonna we'll let our inside guy run the choice off of this. Okay, what we've got to peek at as a quarterback, got to see this guy. Okay, if there's a chance for this guy to break inside, got to see that guy. Want to make sure that he moves that direction. Looks like Jared maybe peeks him for just a quick second. Make sure he goes that direction. Once he does, now I know I've got the inside throw if I want it. And again, not a lot of wasted time back there. It's what I love. A lot of guys are getting back there. They're hesitating. They're bouncing. Jared does a nice job. Definitive. Get back. Get set. Get the ball out. Okay, again, good recognition here. This time, offensive line is going this direction because they've got a free release over here. See the protection, okay? Another thing, a lot of guys in the league, they don't have a lot of built-in hots. They don't know where they're going against pressure. Jared, we've already seen two times. Bring pressure, a free hitter, right? One of these guys is going to be free here. Get the ball out. Know where your hot receiver is. Get the ball out, get it into his hands, and let him make a play, all right? We'll take it. We'll take it. First down, get pressure. Take it, we get five yards, let your playmaker make a play for you. Recognizing pressure, getting the ball out of your hands, helps move you up that ladder, in my opinion, as you know, one of the better quarterbacks in the league. You gotta understand how to handle pressure. Here's another one, okay, offensive line now. They're sliding this way. So now, my hot is here, okay? So coming out there, here he comes. I got an answer. Know where I'm going with the foot bang. There it is. Okay. Could have been a front side hot. Maybe it's this flat over here. Instead, he decides to go back side, knowing he's got a choice there. Falls away from the pressure. Gets the ball out of his hands. Let's get another completion. Again, see how quickly he gets it out. A hot situation. Gets the ball out of his hands. Boom. We're picking up 18 yards because of a good decision and because he knows what he's looking at and what the pressure is. That's going to force him to have to get the ball out of his hands. Uh, this is stuff that I think Jared Goff does really well. Again, back to L.A. Hard play action, wrapping here, really a two-man route, but he throws this in skinny post really, really well off of the play action. A little bit low right there, but probably should have been caught. I like the timing. Get it out. Split these two defenders. Know what you're looking at. Bang. Ah, Got to come up with that one. Yeah, and we might say not the most talented guy physically, maybe not the biggest arm, all of that stuff. Hard play action, nice job here. Okay, they got a little double move, so they're going to come here, and they're going to go to the corner, try to use up the backside guy. Now a lot of guys, when the quarterback rolls this direction, of course, is going to come back to this direction, so they're going to give him a little fake here, and then they're going to come back, so they're going to run the corner post in this particular situation. Nice job by Jared Goff. Good pickup, get outside, flip your hips, flipping his hips, 50 yard throw, going the other direction. I love it. Go get yourself a big play, 
Set your team up on the one yard line. Okay, another play action. Hard play action. Boom, two man route. Here with the comeback, the end coming, back checking underneath it. Okay, this again, what he does well. Definitive, knows what he's looking at. Go get yourself one. Bang, out there. Got to make that catch. Yeah, not perfect. And again, these are the things I'm talking about. Making it a little bit harder on his receiver. Skinny post. Now coming back on the corner route. Yet, these guys are NFL players. I expect them to make these catches even though they're a little bit low. We got to be able to make that nice throw up and over that linebacker for Jared Goff. Good decision. Chance for a nice little 18, 15 yard gain. Got to come up with that ball. Okay. All right, so I've been raving about pressure, handling pressure. Well, now they're bringing pressure. Now, might not be a hot situation because really there's only six guys coming. We should have six guys blocking, so we should be good. But read it out, okay? Read it out here. Got that quick out again. Do you have it? Uh, maybe not. Maybe you feel that guy's in the way. Now we're coming back with the shallow with an in right here. Pressure starting to break down. Like to see him get there a little bit faster. Okay, so he's waiting a little bit too long to this side. Like once you X this out, get your eyes back here. Maybe you've got a chance to get this ball out of your hands right there. Again, tight, right? Again, I don't like this. Think to me, he's too shallow based on what this guy's doing. They're within about six yards of each other. Makes it easy for the defense and really hard on the timing of the quarterback because this guy's in the way if he's trying to throw this right now. There's bodies there. Like to see this guy get a little bit more depth so we can get that true high-low. Jared can even maybe let it go and lay it up over the top right here instead of having to throw it away. Here we go again. Pressure. Here they come with pressure. Boom. Boom, bringing both guys, playing man-to-man -man across the board. Recognize it, know where your quick throw is, okay? Peaks this guy again, make sure he's holding over there to the strong side. So if this guy breaks back to the inside, which he does here, I know I've got to throw, but I got to get it out, right? You know where that extra guy is. Look at the timing again. Get back, back foot in the ground, hold on it, get it out to your guy. Nice 14-yard gain. Okay, running deep shot, post, post or a go, bringing the over, bringing the shallow, and then checking the swing. Okay, so we check the to double post if we want first. Okay, check the double post. Here's what you see, right? This guy's deep, this guy's wide, okay? Maybe if you see this guy squatting, you got a shot down the middle, but I'm okay with this. A lot of bodies back there. Let's check this over to the swing off of one of these flat defenders over there. I like it. They're getting a lot of depth. Just go check it down to your guy. Give him a chance. Now we only get two yards. Nice job by Alexander right here to come up and fill and make the tackle, but I'm not mad at this decision. Getting depth, getting depth. A lot of bodies back there. Go ahead and take it underneath. Keep moving the chains. Try to work into the red zone. You know what you're seeing. Like this little concept, we're gonna motion down here. We're gonna switch release these guys with a little flat. He's gonna come back with the stick right here, trying to force this guy into an off position. See it, back foot in the ground, balls out, first down, right outside the red zone. Hard play action, right? That's what he's good at. Here, they get that run game going. Shallow, over. Clear that safety out with the post. Now we're gonna read whoever that defender is on the back side. High, low, he clamps to the shallow. Even though this safety's trying to jump this, 
I like this. Nice pocket there. Step up, drive this throw, put it to the outside. Get yourself another first down. Ah, and here we go. Late in the game. Needed this to finish off the game. Needed a first down here. What have we said about Jared Goff the whole game? Handled the pressure really, really well. Knew what his answers were when they were bringing pressure. You see the Packers just have four, bringing an all-out pressure right here in a critical situation. Boom. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. We're coming out here. We've got a little hook. Flat. Read the outside defender. He widens just enough. No hesitation. Back foot in the ground. Balls out. Completion. Game winner. All right. So there you go. A lot of good stuff to like about Jared Goff. Now he started a little bit slow. And again, one of my critiques on him as he continues to grow into the league is I want to see him come out and you feel like he can put the daggers in you from the start. That he's a guy that can beat you with his right arm. I'm not sure he's quite there yet. Maybe he won't ever be one of those guys, but he's a really good quarterback in this league and we saw it. Struggled early, but settled in. Right When he knows what he wants to do, when they simplify some of the concepts, the play action where they've got two and three man routes, he is so good. He's back there, hits that back foot, not a lot of hesitating in the pocket, and the ball is out of his hands. Still want to see him get better at making all the throws that he needs to make, making sure that they're in position for his guys to make the game easier on them, but didn't get a lot of help there in the second half. Got a couple drop passes that I thought should have been caught, but I just thought he settled in and showed what kind of quarterback he is on the road, in the cold, in a game where the other team really needs it. Jared Goff made the plays that his team needed him to make to win football games. That's going to be key this year. I think this team's going to be better, but can Jared Goff step up in those key moments and make those throws he's got to make to elevate his team to one of the best teams in the NFC.